Hi guys, in today's video I will share how I make notes of the books that I am reading. I am doing this in Notion and the system helps me to better remember what I read and also gives an opportunity to come back for the ideas that I found inspiring and interesting. I love reading books and I like to remember what I've read, but now when I have much less time comparing to what I would like to spend reading, I would like to make most of the things that I read and remember as much as I possibly can. Making notes helps to remember interesting ideas and discuss them with family and friends. It's also very interesting to see how my thinking has changed. I love finding my old notes, no matter if it's uh, reading notes or any other notes, and see what sort of ideas were at that point of the time in my head. And sometimes it's very surprising and unexpected. I don't really remember myself writing or thinking like that, so it will be very interesting to come back to my book notes in a few years and see what I'm thinking about them now. I know that at different times of our lives the same book can spark different ideas, emotions and feelings and it will be very interesting to come back to them. And finally, it just feels good to keep track of the books that I am reading, and it's very satisfactory to me to add a book to the list of the books I've read. For now, I'm doing notes only for non-fiction books, I don't do them for fiction books, and I do have a separate system for my professional literature. I'm doing my notes in Notion, and I'm trying to keep it as simple and as minimalistic as possible, because I'm trying to remove the friction between me reading a book and actually making notes to remember things that I read. I believe it is better to reflect with one sentence rather than not to reflect on the book at all, and that's why I don't force myself to fill all the placeholders. So in my book notes I have three stages, which is before reading, during reading, and surprisingly after reading. Before starting a book or very soon after starting reading a book I fill the information about it, so it's the name, the author, am I listening to the book or reading, or maybe I have a hard copy of the book. I try to remember where did I hear about the book and I also drop down the date when I'm reading it, so sometimes it's the beginning or sometimes when I finish the book, just to remember approximately the year when I'm reading it. The next stage is during the reading and that's the time when I read and of course I also do some highlights and notes. One of the life-changing ideas that I'm trying to implement more and more nowadays is to not just highlight something, but actually make a note and a comment why am I doing this? I had so many occasions when I was going through my book highlights and wasn't really sure why did I do it, what sparked the idea that I have to highlight, maybe I had some memory about it or maybe I discussed it with someone. So now when I am making highlights, I'm trying to ensure that I also add a note about why do I do it. Maybe I agree with the author on some thoughts or maybe I don't agree and why, maybe I remembered something, or maybe I have another idea about this particular sentence. But now I also notice that I have less highlights, but all of them are really valuable to me because they are connected to my ideas, my thoughts and my feelings. Sometimes I make side notes of the ideas that come to my mind while I'm reading a book, and I do it in another app, so I do it in Google Keep, because I do feel that it's opening much much faster comparing to Notion. And the next stage is after reading. The most of the learnings and memory connections are happening not when we try to reread the material that we already read, but actually when we try to extract this information from our short-term memory. And this is the time when all the new neural connections are strengthening. In order to strengthen my memories of the book, I close it and I reflect on it. I try to remember what was the book about. I usually have a couple or three, four, five sentences about it, and I'm thinking, did it answer my questions? Did it meet my expectations? And so on. Next, I'm thinking of the book in general. What were my feelings? Did I generally like it or maybe not so much? Would I recommend it to someone? And usually there are not so many books that I would really recommend to my friends or anyone else. But for example, one of the recent books that I have read by Matthew Walker called Why We Sleep, and it's one of my favorites of the recent times and I would definitely recommend it to everyone. Next, I list several ideas that really stood out to me while reading the book. So, for example, from Matthew Walker's book, I realized that it's not only quantity of the sleep that is important, but it's also a quality. Another idea was that I understood why going to bed at 9 pm and sleeping 8 hours is not the same as going to bed at 11 pm and still sleeping 8 hours. And one of the most important steps after reading a book is I'm trying to find at least one thing that I could potentially implement into my life. Because this is actually why I read those books. And if I find at least one idea worth trying, I consider this book as a good one. So this is something I usually discuss in my monthly planning videos, where for example last month and the month before, I decided I will focus on sleeping more to become more productive and more energetic. 
Then I have a space for some quotes and depends on the book, sometimes I would like to quote it a lot and sometimes um, I don't have really any. Finally, I go through my highlights and notes and transfer the ones that make sense to me to Notion. Well guys, let me know if you do more or less notes about your books and actually do you do them? I hope you found this video interesting and inspiring and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Hi guys! Hi guys! The idea why I why the important ones into my Notion uh, review. <laughs>